YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with an unboxing of the Pokemon Training Card Game XY Breakthrough Elite Trainer Box Mega Mewtwo Y Edition. So, we just took a look at the Mega Mewtwo X uh, version of this. And like I said in that video, if you haven't had a chance to watch it, there will be links in all the various places. Um, in, in this set, much like in XY, we had a Xerneas and an Evoltal one. In Primal Clash, we had a Primal Ground and Primal Kyogre versions of the Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, this time around, in Breakthrough, they were decided to release two more. One featuring Mega Mewtwo X and one featuring Mega Mewtwo Y. So, Mega Mewtwo Y here is a very kind of neat pinkish color. It's kind of a magenta pink sort of fusion. I'm sure there's an appropriate color for this, but the actual box color is a little bit darker than uh, what the printed material makes it look out to be. But uh, as in all Elite Trainer boxes, we have eight breakthrough booster packs in here. So eight packs. Eight packs of the current set that you're buying this Elite Trainer box for. Uh, 65 card sleeves. These ones featuring Mega Me 2Y. Also in the cool little magenta purpley pink color. Uh, player's Guide, uh, 45 energy cards, a couple of each type. The Player's Guide for the Breakthrough Expansion that we already took a look at in the Mega Mewtwo X version, but I will look at it again for those that didn't see that video yet. Uh, six Damage Counter Die, these are the little solid ones, and one Competitive Legal Coin Flip Die, that's the big clear one, um, featuring the set logo on the one space, I do believe. Two Acrylic uh, Poison and Burn Markers, because we don't got enough of those already. And, uh, of course, the box and a code card, which lets you uh, use the sleeves and, I think, like a, a deck box or something like that for Pokemon Training Card Game Online. And just like all of the Elite Trainer boxes, this is available for $39.99 at most major retailers. Um, however, you can get them a little bit cheaper on card shops like Troll and Toad or Collector's Cache, but, of course, then you have to pay for shipping. So it's really up to you on whether you're already placing an order and it's not going to break the bank or anything like that, but... Of course, then you have to wait for shipping, and waiting for shipping is the worst. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. Alright, so moving the box along to the side real quick, here is the player's guide for the breakthrough set. And this is the cover with Mew, Mega Me 2 Y on it, because that is the box that we're on. But the contents are the same as the Mega Me 2 X one, so if you already saw that video, you can go ahead and skip this portion if you would like. But um, it does highlight the break Pokemon. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen my other um, unboxings for this set yet, we have pulled a couple of them as of this recording. But um, basically, it's a new mechanic to where you break evolve. So Raichu will break evolve and a Raichu break. And it looks something like that. So you put it horizontal onto the, uh, the Pokemon that you're break evolving. And uh, that Pokemon now gets uh, bonus attacks or abilities plus an HP boost. But retains its previous attacks and uh, previous abilities and weakness, resistance, retreat cost, all of that. So it's a really fun mechanic. Um, it's a shame that there's really no support for it yet, so they all kind of suck. Zoroark's pretty good, though. Um, but I, I don't see Zoroark being too played yet um, until those break Pokemon get some support. Uh, of course, it does show off Mega Mewtwo EX. Between Mega Mewtwo and normal Mewtwo EX, there's 10 different versions of those Pokemon in this set. Ten different uh, versions of Mewtwo EX or Mega Mewtwo EX in this set alone, so you got a good chance of getting the Mewtwo. Uh, you got Mega Houndoom EX uh, and Mega Glalie EX, both decks I really do want to play, though Glalie, I kind of just want normal Glalie, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Raikou and Hexorus are both pretty nice hollows. Uh, Raikou in particular has a ability that um, if it has any lightning energy attached to it, which of course it will in a lightning deck, any damage done to this Pokemon by um, attacks is reduced by 20. It's not super ghoul, super ghoul, super good. Attach that with a hard charm, you're, you're blocking 40. So that's actually pretty nice. Haxorus just has a nice little attack setup going for it, especially with double dragon energy. Uh, looking at the trainer cards, this set is all about choice. Bridget gives you a choice. Giovanni's Scheme gives you a choice. And Parallel City gives you a choice. There's lots of choices here in the Breakthrough expansion. The uh, additional uh, special energy for this set, Burning Energy, a Fire-type special energy, only be attached to Fire Pokemon, but if that Fire Pokemon has an attack that requires you to discard an energy, you can discard that Burning Energy, and it will go straight back onto that Pokemon. As long as it's for an attack, it can't be for retreating or anything. So really cool. And then Rainbow got uh, reprinted. Uh, that just is any energy type for any Pokemon you attach it to, but you do 10 damage to yourself. So, of course, like any other book, you do have a little um, kind of display of all of the Pokemon in this set. 
including our cool secret rare Mewtwo's that I would love to get a hold of. I actually pulled one of them in pre-release. I need the blue one. Uh, uh, but they look really cool. They got additional Pokemon on them, and it, it's just it's all sorts of really cool. So, like I said, there's ten Mewtwo's in this set. Burning Spark and Night Striker are our theme decks, and go watch Pokemon Animus on your Pokemon TV app. So that does it for the little uh, the little booklet thing. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Bring in our box, open said box, and throw all the garbagey garbage away. Okay, so somewhere in here there is a code card, and that is right here. Code card will give you the sleeves, and like I said in all these videos, I think a deck box. I don't know. I could be totally wrong with that. For use in Pokemon TCG Online. I know it gives you the sleeves, at least. Uh, there are four dividers, so when you're dividing your cards, you can look at Mega Mewtwo Y's pretty face, and just use them to sort by Pokemon, or by trainers, or whatever you want to do. Dividers are always helpful in long deck boxes. 45 energy cards, a little bit of every type. For those starting out or those that just don't have energy cards, you do have eight booster packs of the Breakthrough set, which is always fun. I love the booster packs. You get uh, two acrylic markers, poison and burn. Uh, so we got a lot of those built up by now. You get the Mega Me 2 Y sleeves. Nice little magenta pink color going on. Pretty cool. We don't get that color all too often. And then uh, these are flat out red. So we got red versus blue going on in these uh, trainer boxes despite their colors. Uh, so they, they feature the set logo on the ones, which is a really cool set logo. I dig it a lot. But There you go. So you have the seven die. You have the acrylic marker. You've got the energy cards. You've got the dividers. You've got the sleeves. And you got the pretty box. So we got all the stuffs. But let's go ahead and take a look at these eight packs. Two, four, six, eight. All right, they they counted on this one too. Now every time I open an Elite Trainer box, I'm hoping for a ninth pack, uh, just because of that Ancient Origins one that I opened. But so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Hopefully this one is a little bit better than Mega Mewtwo X was, because that one was just kind of all right. So. Let's go ahead and start with a skid... Oh, there's a piece of booster pack on that skidoo. So we got our skidoo. Staryu. Paris. Doduo with Doduo Delivery. It's a nice, that's a nice company name. So trademark that. A Ghastly. Brazen. Pillow Swine. Houndoom Spirit Link. I have Popotas Reverse. And it's the blue one! Oh my god! <laughs> I was just talking about it too. Oh, I should be psychic more often. Um, the Secret Rare Mega Mewtwo EX. Uh, like I said, I pulled the red one. Um, in fact, I will I will uh, not go grab that because that that's too much. It's it's away right now. Uh, but the like it's shown in the book, the the red one I pulled in the pre-release. I was looking for the blue one, and now I got the blue one. I got both of them. These are really nice uh, special special editions of the Mewtwo EX. Uh, they got Haxorus, um, which is just a good normal freaking card in the set. Zoroark to advertise those breaks, and Meloetta to advertise those legendary Pokemans. Uh, it's 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 nice. It's a nice little special edition card that has uh, more Pokemon on it than just Mewtwo. Uh, Photon Wave thirty uh, during your opponent's next turn. Any damage done by attacks to the fighting Pokemon is reduced by thirty. Um, Done by attacks are reduced by 30. I read that completely wrong. And Cyburn for 120. It's not super great, but again, as a collector, the goodness of cards really doesn't care a whole lot to me because this is probably going to be one of those a little bit more pricier ones because it's a Mewtwo. Mewtwo has the same sort of Charizard effect going for it where anything that's on it that's Mewtwo or Charizard is more expensive than normal because little kitties and the nostalgia peoples will really like it. So, But it's, it's a great card. Oh, I'm so happy I pulled this. So I got I got both the secret rares for this set now, and I, I'm I'm good. I'm good to go. All right. So pack number two. We're already off to a better start. Thank you, Mega Mewtwo Y. I always knew I liked you more. Cause you look like Frieza. Oh no, he looks like Kid Boo. It looks like Kid Boo and Frieza did the fusion dance. That's what he looks like. Oh, we got a mischievous, a Swablu, Flabebe, Axu. Scatterbug, 
Quilladin. Uh, the art, the art gets me every time. I feel like I feel like the art for Quilladin here is like the artwork for like Flash parodies or something. It, it just it's so absurd, and and I, I actually kind of like it. Who did the art? Miki Tonaka. Ton, Tanaka. It's hard to read from here. I have bad eyesight. Uh, Miki Miki Tanaka or Tonaka. Or I, like I said, I can't read it from here. But Miki, you do some weird work. Uh, seeking. <laughs> Bridget Giovanni. Oh no, Fisherman. Bridget's cheating on Giovanni with Fisherman. People that seen the last video will get that. <laughs> Um, so Bridget's a really cool card. One basic EX or three basic Pokemon. Pretty nice card straight to your bench. Uh, Fisherman gets four basic energies uh, from your discard into your hand. So again, great for those energy mill decks. Uh, and Simisage is our rare. So I, I do believe I got all the monkeys now. I think, I think we've accumulated all the monkeys. And the camera just decided to randomly stop focusing properly. Come on, camera. You can do it. There we go. Biplup. Magnemite. Noibat. I love Noibat. Ralts. Oh, he's so happy to have that block. Skidoo. Frogadier, which I really like when you partner this up with the Froakie, since the artwork goes together. I, I like it a lot. Uh, Staravia. Pinsir. A reverse pan pour. And oh another hollow. Typhlosion is our, our hollow. I, I'm getting a lot of more hollows in this. I wonder if they fix the ratio a bit. Uh, but massive eruption. Discard the top five cards of your deck. This attack does 80 damage times the number of energy cards you discard. There could be a deck here. There there easily could be a deck here. Um, I don't know how great it would be, but uh, there could easily be a deck here of some sort. Uh, Flare destroy 130, discard an energy attached to this Pokemon, then discard an energy attached to your opponent's uh, active Pokemon. 130 is not that bad. Muscle Band, you're doing 150. Not that bad. And if you partner with Burning Energy, you discard and they have to discard, and then you get p p put it back on. So, Typhlosion's not bad. I think Typhlosion's got a little bit of potential. Again, it's the whole Stage 2 thing. It's, it's kind of difficult to get those Stage 2 Pokemon out. But... I, I think Typhlosion, Typhlosion has some playable potential, in my humble opinion. So, moving along to the next pack, we got a Woo Bat, Swablu, uh, Snover, Scary Rufflet, Scatterbug, Floet, Brazen. Super Rod, a really awesome, awesome uh, item card that um, is getting reprinted from uh, the middle of the black and white era. Uh, shuffle 3 in any combination of Pokemon or basic energy from your discard pile into your deck. Um, it's not as strong as Sacred Ash, but you get that option of having it be energy, which is always really helpful. So I, I, I like Super Rod for that. And a Reverse Marowak. And the Dodrio, I talked about one of the other ones. Um, it's almost a reprint of a previous Dodrio. Retreat 8, as long as it's on the bench, uh, active Pokemon's retreat cost is two colorless less. Keep in mind it is uh, only in the active slot, so anything that counts retreat costs or anything, um, keep in mind it won't apply to that. But uh, Retreat 8 is really cool for those, uh, those heavy decks that um, just would have to play Escape Rope or Switch in abundance. Uh, Dodrio kind of helps around that. All you need is a 1-1 line of Dodrio. And hope it doesn't get sniped from the bench. <laughs> it's a big if, but um, there, there's lots of potential there. So, Zorua. Flabebe. Vanillite. Zorua. I did it again. I got the two Zorua in the same pack. That's one of the pretty Zorua. It's also domesticated Zorua. Uh, Skidoo. Uh, Quillava. Let's go with that Typhlosion. Mini Eruption. Discard the top card of your deck. If that card is an energy card, the deck does three more damage. Neat. Pinsir. Starmie. Reverse Swinub. And oh, are you serious? <laughs> we are serious. I just choked a little bit. Uh, two full arts in this box. Wow. 
All right, we got Mega Mewtwo EX. Uh, this is a, a nice little blue pattern on this one. Uh, 230 HP Psychic Pokemon. Uh, this is Mega Mewtwo uh, EXX, since it's Mega Mewtwo X. Uh, Vanishing Strike, 150. If there's any Stadium card in play, this attack does 50 more damage. And this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance or any other effects on the active Pokemon. That's a really great effect. Um... Unfortunately, with the with the psychic and fighting combo here, um, it's a little bit more difficult to pull out, and it doesn't gain any bonuses from things like fighting energy or strong energy, rather, uh, which is definitely disappointing. It's a strong attack for sure. I just don't know how stable it'll be in a competitive environment, but um, it, it could make for a, a fun deck. That has killer artwork. I love full art so much, guys. You have no idea. I wish more cards were full art. Those cards that are in the uh, the legendary collections, the Pikachu and Hoopa ones that we took a look at, those ones just get me. Like, those ones get me good. And I think I showed that code card, but oops. Uh, we got a Flabebe, and I saw something in there. I saw some. We got a Fennekin. A Starly, it's calling for its pals. Swine up, hiding in them pillows. Inke. Behem. Uh, Kulava, again. Wabafet. Again, still like that artwork. Ooh. Oh my, does this mean what I think it means? I think we got one of those mythical packs. Oh my god, okay. And well, let's focus on Noivern for now. Uh, we got Noivern Break here, uh, which is awesome. Just a gold Noivern. Uh, 130 HP Dragon type uh, Synchro Woofer. <laughs> woofer, woofer. Woofer is a subwoofer, I think it's a woofer. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. So 150, uh, which is actually almost the same as Glalie EX. So it's a different alternative to Glalie EX's playstyle, uh, which is, is really nice. It's a nice uh, additional option. Psychic and Darkness isn't that great, but again, double dragon energy is a thing. So. It depends on what you want to play, really. I think Glalie is probably the better play. But uh, Noivern could be just as fun. So that's really sharp. I like that. I think I have all the breaks now between the pre-release, uh, previous pulls and this. I think, uh, I, I think I might have all the breaks. Okay, it wasn't one of the mythical packs. Okay. Now I'm kind of let down. I, I thought there was an EX in here. Uh, but what we saw was, uh, was a Noivern break. Uh, we have Obama Snow as our rare, which which kind of lets me down a little bit. I thought we had a mythical pack, guys. I thought we did. Uh, now I'm kind of disappointed. I'm sorry. I hyped it all up and everything because I thought there was an EX. I'm sorry, guys. I have failed this booster pack. All right, moving along. We did get Noivern Break, though, so that's cool. Uh, Pikachu. Nope. Inke almost wanted to go with Pikachu. Chespin, and Doduo, Fennekin, Seeking, Bridget, Vanillish, a Reverse Chespin, and a Chadot. Chadot is our rare. Chadot, I don't, have you ever been good, Chadot? Actually, I think the Chadot that was in one of the Plasma sets, I think, wasn't bad. I don't remember the specifics regarding the chat outs, but there was a chat out somewhere along the line that was not that bad. All right, we got a Magnemite, Pikachu, Noibat, Cubone, sad Cubone, I just need to get rid of it, a Sandshrew, Frogadier, Staravia, Pinsir, Reverse Quilladin, and a Noivern to go with the Noivern break. And I know there was a Noibat in here, so we got the line. whoop de whoop de whoop All right, so I do have to say that this one was definitely a lot better than the Mega Mewtwo X1. Uh, we got two full arts, a break, and a hollow, which is certainly better than a normal EX and two hollows. Uh, this one was great. We almost had that mythical pack. I really thought we had it, but my eyes fooled me, and I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, basically what I was talking about, for those that were really confused about the mythical pack, uh, because the breaks take the place of the reverse hollows, it is theoretically possible to get a full art and a break, or a break and an EX in the same pack. And 
I, I really want to do that on an unboxing at some point. I, I really I really want that to happen. Uh, we we got a lot of a lot of breakthrough cards to go through still, so that could that could still happen. But uh, that that's what I was talking about when I was talking about the mythical pack. So once again, for thirty nine ninety nine, you get eight booster packs, which is already a good deal because you're looking at about thirty two dollars or so for for that many booster packs um, at normal retailer Re retailer retail. Uh, I don't know. My camera's really weird to focus today. I apologize. Um, you get the sleeves, which are always really cool. You get the dividers, which are moderately helpful. Uh, you get the energy, which is great for those just starting out. You have the die, which are always necessary for tournaments. You kind of need those. And the poison and burn markers, which, again, you need those for tournaments and normal casual play as well. So... Uh, I love these. As I always say in these unboxings, I'm a huge advocate of these Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, the, the value is certainly there. You get eight packs, a chance to get some really awesome stuff like we did in this video. Uh, energy cards to help build decks. You get to die. You get uh, the, the markers. There, there's, there's so much here. Uh, for, for the $40, that just totally makes it worth it for experienced players, casual players, new players. Uh, any, any rank that you fall in. Uh, in terms of playing this game, there, there's something for you in these uh, Elite Trainer boxes, and I can't help but recommend them. Uh, they're, they're they're a great thing for for all levels of players. So that about does it for this unboxing. We did a good one here. Uh, so if you go ahead and like it, if you like it, I totally messed up my end intro outro here. But if you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.